All right, the strike begins. It's been five hours so far. And as they join the writers on the picket lines in the first dual strike in more than 60 years. So we have KCAL News reporter Tina Patel joining us live right now in Hollywood with the latest on this developing story. Tina, good morning. Well, good morning. Officially, the actors will start picketing outside studios like Netflix today at 9 a.m. But we already saw a number of them come out here yesterday after SAG after announced that the strike was on. Everyone we've been talking to says they were hoping it wouldn't come to this, that the studios would offer a fair contract and that the people who love making TV and films could keep doing that. But SAG-AFTRA, the union that represents 160,000 actors, says they had to take a stand because the entertainment industry has changed dramatically with streaming and they say the studios aren't giving everyone their fair share. Now, like the writers who have been on strike for 11 weeks now, the actors say they need some assurances about the future of the business, how artificial intelligence will be used, and they also say they need to make a living wage. What's happening now because of all the streamers, um, we don't make as much. No one's making as much. The, well, the people who are controlling the studios are making like beyond, like it's disgusting how much they're making. This company that really changed the business, all they sell is what we make together and DGA and IATSE and Teamsters and all the unions. Now, the alliance that represents the studios and streamers said they were hoping that it wouldn't come to this. They released a statement saying that they offered historic pay raises and residual increases. At least that's what they called it, historic. Fran Drescher, who is the president of SAG-AFTRA, says what they offered was insulting. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, just watching her press conference yesterday, she was definitely very passionate. Mm -hmm. All right, Tina, thank you so much.